What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the RTG Career Mode, it's episode number 39 and it's the penultimate episode of season 5 as we'll play for I'd say 6 or maybe 5 of the remaining 7 games here including 3 really tough away trips to Anfield, Villa Park and Old Trafford as we try and stay in the title race but most importantly, most importantly stay in the top 4. Yeah, back to back wins for Swansea after the last episode we were knocked out of the Europa League by uh, Benfica. Uh, right now, five behind Man City, but currently four ahead of Aston Villa with a game in hand on the Red Devils. Most important for me is we just stay in the top four. And a win in our first game of, yeah, I'd say five, maybe six today, uh, will do us the world of good. Liverpool away at Anfield, our first tough clash to kick off the free game away trip with here. Come on, East Ones. Decided not to go for Jamal in this game, despite his uh, goal against Manchester City. And... I haven't even got him on the bench either. And it's it's crazy to say that a 65 overall. I wonder if we'll miss him. Correa with the opener and Liverpool strike first was eighth of the season. That just goes to show you, and we talked about this at length in the last episode, that rating isn't everything. Jamal has been a big game player since the save began. Probably should have started in, in this one as well. And it's Tati will play advantage there. Denich. Kanunen off the bar. So much shot power. I'm surprised the goal's even still standing. That's yours, mate. That's yours. One in Yusuf. Ah, Diaz. Did not see him there. As he pops it back to Lucas Hernandez. Into the middle. There's Illich. This is a great Liverpool team, by the way. It's changed a lot in these five years, but it's really strong. As Ugarte is dispossessed by Kanunen. That's fine. Start it out. Tattoo to come into the middle, must be, yeah, there we go. Perfectly done there. Drag Koita out, so that meant it was space in the middle. So Tattoo could come in as Koita goes to right wing as the pair swap their roles. And Tattoo in the middle with the finish. We talked about this a couple of episodes ago. Sometimes when you have a man as a dummy runner, it, it's not about, well, it's, it's the clues in the name. They're, they're, they're not there to be passed to. They're there to drag defenders out of position. That's exactly what Koita did there. And whilst it won't show up in the stat sheet as a goal involvement for Koita, without him, we don't get the goal, you know? In a very stats-heavy and analytical world nowadays, listen, I'm, all, I'm in favour of it. I'm all for it. But sometimes there are things that players do that don't show up on the stat sheet that make the big difference. Without Coyter's off-the-ball movement there, we don't score that goal. No, 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 come on, don't lose it, don't lose it. Oh, great tackle, Hjalman. God, he's been massive for me. And now, look at the space of James here. Boss, run, overlap now, please. Thank you. Yes, words, correct. English, decent. Koita for the win! What a moment! Swansea winner to death! Three on the chart. I will start a trio of tough away days for victory at Anfield. What a lovely, lovely little breakaway. And it's Koita with the win! Left it late, but that is a massive win to kick today's episode off. My goodness. Now, I'd say now six games to go, six clear Spurs. It's still incredibly tight, but. I would say four more wins in our remaining six, and well, that would practically guarantee it anyway. So as Traore and Brennan agree their loan deals, we'll move to the following game. Aston Villa away at Villa Park right now, four clear of MRI's side in fourth place. Guaranteed to still be above them come the end of 90 minutes. But if we can win this as well, that'll be seven point gap with five to go. And surely from that position there, we should be able to wrap up a top four place. Just got one massive away day victory on the road. Now let's get a second at Villa Park in this trio of tough trips away from Wales. Come on, you swans. Yeah, it's officially squeaky bum time right now. And I'm loving it, man. Seriously, the, the drama, the... Uh, this this is what, like, makes the season worth it. Do you know what I mean? It's what makes sloggy season worth it. I was, oh, wow, that almost went in there at the near post. you uh, you got to get through that time. You know, we called it sloggy season for a reason because that's what it is, but this is your reward for getting through that part of the season. The big games, the big moments, the big clashes, the drama, the potential silverware. This is what makes those moments worth it. It's what, oh, what a finish. Eli Wahi converts from close range. It was coming. Aston Villa off to a fast start. They need to win this game, not just draw it. And what a beginning for them. Just like the last game away at Anfield, we're behind inside the first two minutes. That was a cracking finish. How many goals has he got this season now? 17. He's been amazing in the Premier League this year. 
What a cracking ball that is and flicked in. Ah, oh, so quick. It's so efficient. It's so smooth. It's so precise and it's... Aye, aye. It's stopped by Rushworth, but... And again, Carl bailing me out and keeping us still deadlocked. Uh, sorry, still only down by one. Oi. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's still 1-0. Action packed end to the first half though as Kanuna finds James. We know he's got the pace. Can we find a leveller against her on a play? Oh no, Marquinhos, wily old dog intercepts. Really important second half coming, man. If Villa get a second goal, that would do it. If we get a level to flip this script and win this game like we did at Anfield. Huge 45 minutes in the season coming next. Oh, I feel like we've run out of steam to be honest here still. Down. Desperate need of a goal. Really well done. Tattoo, get outside. Kanuna off the post, gets it back on, poke the rebound in, and then a deflection. Nicks off his shins and drops behind for a goal kick. Tried to bend it into the far corner, just didn't get the accuracy right. Lovely move, just couldn't finish it. Koita! Oh. Still time but need the ball, still time but need the ball, still time but need the ball. There's Villa look to close this out. We, wow, we've had our chances. We, we've had it. It's, it's come, it's gone, it's over. Absolute limbs. They can't keep getting away with this. Second game in a row. We've clawed our result with the final kick. First to win at Anfield, and now at a point of Villa Park. Deserved it. Felt we deserved it. But my goodness, we can't keep this up, man. <laughs> I'm gonna have a heart attack. And thankfully, whilst we might not have got the win, a draw for Brighton away at the Etihad means the gap between us and the league leaders remains at five. So five to go. We were still technically in the title race, but really, again, I'm trying not to think of it too much right now. We're five clear of the Mad Buys in fifth, and that's the most important thing. Just, look, forget about pole position. It's, it's within touching distance, but we talked about this earlier in the season. Don't worry about the output. Worry about the input. Just focus on what you can control, man. And what we can control are our own results. Following game, Manchester United away at Old Trafford. Heading into this game. <sighs> Back-to-back dramatic late drama in two away trips. Let's see if it happens once again at Old Trafford. Huge clash here. Come on, you swans. Corner, Manchester United whipped in. Boz heads away. Knudin. Brilliant touch, isn't it? Let's be honest. It's a brilliant touch by AK. He's got Jermaine in the middle. He's just poked it to him and said, off you go. Off you go, Vet. Go on. I know you've still got a, a bit of running to do. Oh, no, no. I went off. Okay. Just calm yourself down, Doxy boy. It's minute 19. I think you knew what I was trying to do there. <laughs> I've loaded to the spare man. In the end, it came to the spare man. Mm. Bite your tongue. Move on. Come on. Back heels. Oh, brilliantly done. And as it worked in, Baron Gartner gets around Flamingo and got to be tackled, mate. Uh, got to be stronger, mate. Got to be stronger in the stand tackle. We talk about this all the time, but it's one thing which has made defending much harder in this is FC. The tackling is just a bit too weak. Puts a foot in, but in fact, I don't know if he actually got the joint. Let me take that back. I think Baron Gartner just took it round him. My, my, my mistake. I thought he actually made a tackle. We didn't at all. We didn't get there. My mistake. Even so, even so. Half an hour in, 1 0 down. Well, last two games we've come back from a goal down to claim a win and claim a draw. Let's see if our luck has run out on the third time. Got a bounce guy on a lovely ball. But Flamingo does well. There we go. That's the strong tackle we were looking for. And as Yusuf takes over, we get one chance for the break in. Now, Tattoo's through if you can find him. Keep running. Jamal. Kurt! 
Lanonen isn't gonna miss. And the Swans have their leveler with the final kick of the half. AK rival time 1 1. Easy, easy. Dangerous place to be here. Dangerous place to be. Yes, yo. Oh, no, you're joking. Rushworth, what a save. To be fair, it was straight at him, but he had to react on time. Yeah. Clear. That's fine, that's fine. Just proof it in a touch one. That's totally fine. Winning down, kick it out. Winning down, kick it out. Well saved, Carl. 50 minutes to hold on to the point here. Gavi. Oh, I see Rashford right there. I see him. They're trying to get him the ball. I'm not going to allow it. Brandon. Will I'm not going to let Brandon Williams beat me. Like of, of, all the, of all the players, all the pieces on the pitch, it's not going to be Brandon Williams that's going to beat me. You know, It's not going to happen. As Paul's head's clear, but straight to hand for him. We're just trying to see out the point here. Kanuna takes one for the team. Doesn't want win the free kick. Oh, what a goal. If Rasmus beats me at 89 rated, so be it. But you can't take away everything from a great team. There's always going to be one man that can beat you. Kanuna does well to get a touch, but it drops to Hodgland, who just cannons on him. I'm going to bring Van Brandon on, see if we can do the magic again, but I doubt it. I mean, we're literally hanging on for dear life there. And considering the fact that the last two games we've bailed out a result of the death, it's only right that at some point it's going to be the shoe on the other foot. And there's still time. Tattoo! Oh! Went all the way. Just couldn't finish. Oh, Rashford's just got away from me there. And this could become free. As Flamingo does well, to be fair. And it's not going to be enough time for a final attack. One win, one draw, one loss. And in this tough run of three, it's about what I was expecting. Four points taken from nine. I think we'll stay in the top four. But it's it's a massive, massive blow. And yeah, as we get into the uh, the final month, as you see the uh, the four boys left in the academy right now, Papa, please don't ask for a pro deal, mate, because you'll get one in the summer. I promise you, you'll get one in the summer, just not right now. Um, when we take a look at the uh, the league table here, it's it's still incredibly tight. There's four games to go. To. The luxury is known that the next two games, uh, sorry, uh, two of the next three games are definitely what you call winnable ones. And in the final day, I expect us to win at the Cottage. The big game's that Spurs game right now, but I expect us to win three of the final four. Yes, Brighton's not an easy game. Fulham away is, is not an easy game either. The Borough have already been relegated rock bottom. So we'll win that. That's a banker right there. But um, eight behind Man City. We're not going to catch them now, but I said we're not worried about that. Four to go. And it's so close, man. I mean, it's just two points separating us and Newcastle United as well. But if we can beat Brighton here and possibly gain a little bit of separation as well, all we can do is control the input. Following game was it's going down to the wire. Four to go. Title dreams are basically gone. But top four is something we're trying to cling on to. A win here would do us the well to get after none in our last two. And we need it. Otherwise, we might be outside the Champions League places come the end of the 90 minutes. Come on, you swans. Easy, easy, easy. Watch him on the edge. I see him. Go on, shoot, mate, shoot. You're going to score from there. That's ours. Oh, ref, what are you giving that for? What are you giving that for? What's he giving that for? Was there a hand in there? I didn't even know it was a hand. What? What's he giving a free kick for? What? I... It's a beautiful goal, but I can't work out what he's giving that for. Hold on a second. What? Why? I don't understand that. What's he giving it for? Where's the foul? He's flicked it over the head. I uh, mean, he's blocked off, but it's not. I don't know. You know, I'm not. I don't know about that one. Uh, I, I, listen, I mean, he's not even asking. He's not even appealing for it. That's the thing. It's just, I don't know about that. I understand why it's given, but I'm, I'm not so sure personally. It's one of those. Fifty-fifty, debatable. Sometimes you get it in your favour, sometimes you don't. Just one of those things. Accept it, move on. Come on. Come on. Haven't been on my game anyway, so... Simply put, I've got to be better. I have not played well out there at all. 
It's, oh, Rev, come on, you can't blow for that. Come on. Oh, I've not played well. At the end of the day, I've not played well. That, 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 that's the thing. Whether the free kick's debatable or not, I've not played well. I've not played well. Okay, well, we need a miracle to come back from this. This is, this is going to be a huge loss. We just got out of that big, tough, free game road trip. And now, this was supposed to be a... Not a comfortable win, but a win regardless back home. This is going to be a massive, massive loss. Wow. It's been a poor one for me, but that has just summed it up. I mean, there is nothing I can do about that. Absolutely nothing. It's 3-0, but two of the goals I feel quite harsh, harshly done by. To be honest, the first goal, I wasn't sure about the free game for this one here. I've done all I can do. I've blocked the shot. I've made the interception, but I had a free white shirt. It comes back to the man in red instead. How am I free nil down? Incredible. Wow, that was unexpected. One of those games where literally, and I mean literally, everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. Three nil loss at home to Brighton. Okay, just move straight past it, man. Move straight past it. And after Newcastle, Manchester United tied 1-1. We now drop down to third. And after Spurs' win at home to the Borough, we're free to go. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Mathematically, we could still win the title, but we know it's basically gone now. One point separating three teams, two separating four, three separating five, three to go. And this is definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, the biggest game of the season now. Spurs at home, our following game today, where if we lose... We'll be outside the top four and can drop as low to sixth place. Even without winning this game, we'll probably drop out of the top four. No wins in our last three. Back-to-back -back losses are now needed to put it out in the biggest league game remaining this season. Third versus sixth in a battle for the Champions League. Come on, you swans. I need this win, man. Corner at Spurs. Six minutes to go before the break. Still 0-0 in a very tense and nervy game, as you'd expect. With so much pressure on both teams not to lose this they say pressure either makes diamonds or burst pipes and we're yet to find out which one we are still goalless as the first half comes to the conclusion this is as tense as it gets Yusuf Kanunum oh bull that's Kez Alwissan! Moses Odger 2.0! Yusuf! The hero has just given us the lead. Great hold on my Brandon, but that's what Brandon can do. I talk about this a lot, but this is why I started him. Sometimes you need a different option. A target man to play players in, but Yusuf! The unlikely hero has just put it in the top corner. Iron Man gives us the lead. No, no, no. Please, please, please. Final chance. Whitaker well in, mate. And Gomez takes over. Hold on. I see Vasquez. That's what he's in the team for. Canona! It's game over. Absolute scenes in South Wales. Anton Kanunen with the dagger and Swansea pull it out of the bag. Come on. The two heroes of the save. Yusuf and AK. And the Swans pick up a massive win to stay in the top four. Come on. And rightfully so, giving the boys some props in the dressing room as well because they deserve it. Massive win to put out of the bag. And we will play that phenomenal game against the bar. I was going to save it for the finale. We still will play it because on the conclusion of that, we've now gone five clear of Newcastle and six clear of Spurs. And it means if we win that Borough game, it's over. We've done it. Palace pulled out a shocking win at St. James's. Liverpool held Man City. So, I mean, technically... Technically, we're still in the hunt for a uh, for a title, but really, it's it's all but done, man. It's 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 all but done. Following game, rock bottom, Middlesbrough at home, and our final home game. Where if we win, we lock up Champions League football in South Wales next season. Let's end our home season with the victory that gives us 
Europe's premier competition in South Wales next season. Come on, you Swans. We can't lose this. Come on. Yeah, Michael Carrick would uh, would love to get a win against us here to win it, Flamingo. To give Spurs still a chance at getting into the uh, top four. Not sure how he feels about Newcastle, but even so, he's Whitaker And Coita. And Coita, perfect start, drills home the opener, and we're not going to make the mistake this afternoon. Our final home game, we want to bow out this season of our home form. Getting better after a tough start with a win that will guarantee CL football. Coita with the opener. Yeah, a lot of people forget that Carrick played a couple of years for Spurs. Um, obviously came out of the Oda West Ham Academy. Two great years at, at White Hart Lane, and then um, obviously Ferguson picked him up. And I, I always thought Carrick was one of those players that you know he was never a superstar at Manchester United, obviously. But during that era, they're, they're really successful. He was a he was a massive, massive piece of, of their success, you know. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to sit there and say he was their most important player, but he was certainly one of them. You know, he was a really, really important piece. Oh, what a ball that is! And what a lovely goal! It's, oh no, it's not Sol. Lovely build-up in a dock special. Fluffed finish, soul fires wide. Yeah, he's off to a good start in management as well, Michael Carrick. And, um, yeah, his, his team are going to need to put it out of the bag here, though, because we are, we are in the mood out there, man. We, we want this done. We don't want to leave it to chance in the final day. We want it done. Koita! Second of the afternoon. Second for Swansea. And second place might be where we end up finishing. But top four for sure. Jordan, win that, win that, win that. Yep, we'll have that. That's fine. And it's James finds Koita on for a hat trick here. Ooh. Well, refs is clean tackle. I, I didn't know if he got the ball there. I guess he did. And the Borough playing on with a man advantage. Shots blocks. Shulman can't clear. Flamingo makes a tackle and get it away. And I think that's Koita done for the season, unfortunately. He's chasing a hat trick out there, but that's him done for the season. Thankfully, he's, uh, he's sacrificed himself for the good of the team. As he goes down again, his two goals are going to get us to the Champions League. So, Seku, we appreciate your service and then some, mate. Yep, it's a sacrifice we'll be eternally grateful for because Seku Koita's brace has fired us to back-to-back -back wins and a place in next season's Champions League. Job done with a 2-0 victory. And whilst Manchester City have now locked up the title after their win against Leicester, to be honest, we don't mind one bit. Koita finished for the season, but his goals don't come in vain. The Swans second place and have guaranteed a top four finish. And are heading into the Champions League for the first time ever. Absolutely buzzing. That will do it for today's episode of the RTG crew. My guys, so massive thank you for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed this episode, then please do drop a like. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic day. I will play the fin uh, final day in the season finale with Fulham away at Craven Cottage. They themselves are looking to stay in the division as we'll wrap up the season officially and end season five knowing Champions League football is coming next year for the first time in South Wales. I can't wait. Have a great day. Much love. Love, and I'll see you in the season finale very, very soon.